Today, we are exploring the North Shore of Oahu. We're going to hit up some movie sites, including the valley from Jurassic Park, and we're going to then end our day at a luau. Our first stop here on the North Shore is actually gonna be a macadamia nut shop. We've kind of had a love affair with the macadamia nut since we got here and uh, we're looking forward to uh, trying some samples and uh, picking up a few. This part of Oahu is actually relatively agricultural, so they have a lot of fresh fruit. Uh, they're growing a lot of products here, and so we want to stop and take advantage of that. Free coffee samples, Kona coffee, macadamia nut flavor. It's so good. Okay, so they had several samples of macadamia nuts here and we grabbed one of each and they were just gonna do a little macadamia nut flight. I believe these first ones here are just classic honey roasted, so that's what we're starting with. It's good. Macadamia nuts are good, so with nothing on them, they're good. And then these are coffee. Oh, it's good, it's a little sweet but it has like the hint of coffee we got some coffee inside macadamia, macadamia nut kona coffee is my new favorite thing so we're definitely going to pick up a bag of the macadamia nut flavor that we like the best so i think it's probably going to be down between these two this is a cinnamon covered macadamia nut we haven't had this yet it's like nature cinnamon toast crunch right there this one is a maui onion mm, that's savory it's gonna be a tough call, but I'm gonna let Madeline decide. That is good. It is a lot like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It'd probably be really good in a cookie. Like a snickerdoodle macadamia Yeah, like nut. a, yes, like a snickerdoodle and macadamia nuts. That's like what it is. That sounds like a thing I'm gonna make this Christmas. Never made a snickerdoodle in my life, but now I want one. All right, we're now heading over to the ranch. <laughs> well, we have reached Kualoa Ranch, which we are also to say, welcome to Jurassic Park. And about a million other movies that they filmed here that some of them I'd never heard of, so. But some of them we really like. Pretty impressive. Yeah, we're just gonna go on a tour of the property. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. But uh, you can like do ATV right? and zip lines and that Which kind of stuff. Fun, but we're just taking the bus tour today. Wow. We are entering the bunker. It's a twenty thousand dollar model. Like, like I'm seeing a dinosaur? <laughs> are you filming video or are you taking pictures? Okay. 
We are now entering Jurassic Park. This is now, a Jumanji this wasn't site. Filmed right here. To the right side is this is where they did the dance piece. fighting. We've reached a Jurassic Park portion of the tour. Well, we're walking the ranch and in the valley. We're in the Kong Skull Island Boneyard. It's just really cool to just be in this valley. It's a it very... feels familiar because you've seen so many we've seen so many movies and they're like, oh, this is the hill from Jurassic Park. And it's like, it is. That's I can it. see it. That is it. <laughs> we just ran away from the dinosaur while avoiding cow pies at the same time because this is an active farm and the cattle roam free here. So there's you know, bones and cow poop. Skull Island bones. But uh, Skull Island bones are very cool. I've actually never seen that movie, and now I really want to watch it because I've seen, I've lived it now. So we're gonna have to go home and watch that movie. That is one big pile of. Jeff Goldblum. Well, the visit to the ranch was fun. We're gonna keep rolling here in the North Shore. Um, bit of a bumpy road, but we're gonna go find some lunch. And as per usual, we're very hungry. Well, we're grabbing lunch here on the North Shore and we're at Giovanni's. It's a garlic shrimp truck and I absolutely love garlic shrimp. And I wish this was 4D because if you could smell the garlic, you, this video would be much more enjoyable for you. These things are loaded. I mean, absolutely loaded with garlic. And to the point that the scoops of rice are covered with their own garlic. And I don't really know what to say other than I don't think Madeline's gonna kiss me for a week after this. And I may not wanna kiss her. All right, so let's go right in. Oh. That's pretty good. The shrimp is very fresh. Now, Shrimp is not something that they catch in the waters off of Hawaii. They do have some farm-raised shrimp spots in Kauai. I don't know where they got this shrimp from, but it is fresh. Uh, it's just not from the, the ocean uh, locally. Um, that said, it really is kind of a tradition up and down the North Shore here to do these garlic shrimp spots. And uh, we picked a good one. Look at that. Dripping with flavor. See it. Look at all this garlic. <laughs> there is so much garlic. Yeah, we've got the scampi, and then we got hot sauce on the side. We asked him if between the spicy and the hot, which we should, we should get, he said neither. He said get the hot sauce on the side. So that makes you think it's pretty spicy. And uh, I'll go without, and then I will try it after my first bite here. Ooh, a little bit of work getting it out. A little messy. Mmm. Alright, it was good. The garlic flavor is just taking a hold of this little shrimp here. Alright, we're gonna go for the spicy. Let's see. 
Ooh, no. Kind of has like a like a Louisiana hot sauce spice to it. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe it's just the shrimp, the garlic. Kind of feels like that to me. It also feels a little Italian. Kind of smells like, I mean, maybe it's the scampi. <laughs> you put this on top of some pasta and it'd also be really delicious. We do get the rice. But that's why we got the rice. Mm. I'm just soaking up all the flavor, all the juices, all that goodness down at the bottom here. has soaked up a lot of garlic juice goodness <laughs> really really good I am gonna probably be breathing fire for the rest of the day because it was a lot of garlic but I like garlic we finished up our two plates of shrimp here it was absolutely delicious Giovanni's was a great stop it's a good thing we had a light lunch because we're gonna have a big dinner tonight over at a luau In keeping with the theme of our morning, we're actually visiting another movie site right now. We're walking into Turtle Bay Resort, which is where Forgetting Sarah Marshall took place, which is one of our favorite movies. We did not book the Kapua Suite. Only Oprah it's can only do that. Oprah. It's only for Oprah. Or Tom Hanks? Hey. He just says Oprah, right? That's, I remember her saying Oprah. Oprah or the president or something like that, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just Oprah. So if we... See Sarah Marshall will let you know. Hey, it's Sarah Marshall. Oh no, it's Madeline. <laughs> yeah. It's um I'm excited to come check this place out. It's uh from what I've seen in the movie, a very nice hotel. So what I'm walking up to, I believe, is the yoga studio from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, where they all do yoga with Kristen Wiig. It's actually a wedding chapel, and the waves are huge back here. They're absolute biggest waves we've seen. Quite some rough seas. That's the buffet where Jason Siegel eats. We're getting Sarah Marshall. Movie tour continues. All right, it is time for our luau here on the big island of Oahu. Madeline is excited. <laughs> Great so far. The host name is Cousin Billy and he's absolutely hilarious. They demonstrated how they cook everything and then the one guy climbed up a, uh, 
climbed up the palm tree. So, um, very entertaining so far. We're having a great time and looking forward to dinner. This is a huge plate of food. We have Kahlua pork, we have rice, we have fish, macaroni salad, the tomato, well, lomi tomato, and then there's also coconut cake for dessert, which I would like to just start with now, but I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> this is chicken, it's not fish. I just didn't know what it was. But it's very good. Everything's really, really good. The Kahlua pork is very good too. And we're happy to have a salad because we love it whenever we get salad. <laughs> experience if you were in Oahu. Toa Luau is uh, the, the way to go do. because we had a great time our first luau ever and had an absolute blast. The food was great, the show was great. Yeah. Cannot recommend it enough. 